The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 3, verses 22 to 30. The scribes who had come down from Jerusalem were saying, Belzebul is in him, and it is through the prince of devils that he casts devils out. So Jesus called them to him and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot last. And if a household is divided against itself, that household can never stand. Now, if Satan has rebelled against himself and is divided, he cannot stand either. It is the end of him, but no one can make his way into a strong man's house and burgle his property unless he has tied up the strong man first. Only then can he burgle his house. I tell you solemnly, all men's sins will be forgiven and all their blasphemies. But let anyone blaspheme against the Holy Spirit and he will never have forgiveness. He is guilty of an eternal sin. This was because they were saying an unclean spirit is in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers, and sisters, when the good works that someone does go beyond the expectation, then we begin to attribute something evil to it. When we cannot understand or don't want to understand any good done towards the society, towards the people, the poor, the needy, then we begin to attribute good works to the devil. A similar situation happens in the life of Jesus when he has to face statements of blasphemy against him, against the Spirit of God, that what he is doing, casting out demons, devils, is with the power of the Belzebub, the power of the higher spirit in the Belzebub. Jesus gives them an answer about how can evil be divided? Can some do good and some do bad? The work of the evil is to do evil. If some turn against the evil among themselves, they will be divided among themselves. And any house that has such division, that will not stand firm, but will vanish. It will turn against each other and it will destroy each other. Jesus also gives us a beautiful intuition of how we should listen to the Spirit of God. The scribes and the Pharisees try to make people feel that Jesus is doing all these things with the evil spirit. 
And Jesus gives them an answer saying, if you think that the spirit that is in me is evil, then you are committing the biggest crime in your life, the biggest sin in your life. And all those who sin against the Holy Spirit, calling out names, do not believing, talking against, their sins will never be forgiven and never be forgiven. So my dear friends, we have the Spirit of God with us. We need to feel, we need to experience, and we need to cast out evil that is in this world through the power of the Spirit that is given to us. And Jesus works out these miracles through our lives, through our way of life. Let us ask the Lord to help us in our ministries, in our living with one another in our families, and in our religious communities. Amen.